I pray this story is true, that he himself told me. Michael grew up in a part of Chicago that we Three Stooges are not really familiar with. There's gangs in the neighborhood there when he was growing up. And one of the gangs illuminated themselves. Their trademark was they had a little patch of red dyed into their, their afro, their hair. Big Mike said, he told me, I kind of like these guys. These guys, these guys are cool. Big Mike decided to join this gang. And I said, how do, you, how do you decide to join a gang? He said, you walk up to him and said, I'd like to be in your gang. <laughs> and then they beat the crap out of you for 20 minutes. And that's how you get in the gang. So after being beaten, having the crap kicked out of him for 20 minutes, Michael was a member of this gang, and they took some red dye or whatever it is and gave him that little patch in his head. And he goes home. He said, and my mama was in the kitchen, and she was cooking something at the stove. And I sat down in the, I sat down in the chair, and I kind of like cocked my head so that she could see <laughs> my new little red patch. Now, I just saw his mama. And she's about as tall as his podium. <laughs> I'm guessing she's as tall as the stove itself was. So this is how it went. What's that in your hair, Mike? Oh, that's, that's my trademark, Mom. I'm in a gang. Oh, really? You in a gang now? That's right. I'm, I'm in a gang. Oh, Lord, shit. Oh. She came down with his frying pan across his head. Now, I'm guessing pork chop went flying all over the place. And he's on the other side of the kitchen now, crying. And Mama says, to him, as she's poking the pork, uh, sticking the fork in the pork chop, putting him back in the pan. She says, you go get, you borrow some scissors from your sister. You cut that thing out of your head. She goes back. So Michael went and got the pictures, went to the mirror, <laughs> cut it off. So now his beautiful Afro natural's got this big dent in it, right? You know, with a big crater in it where there used to be this red thing. And he goes, but okay, mama, cut it out of my head. I said, now you go tell your friends you ain't in that gang. I said, so what did you do? He said, I went, I went to the corner where the gang was, and I found him. I said, my mama says I can't be in your gang. <laughs> what did they do? They beat the crap out of me a second time. <laughs>